we're gonna keep this going. Oh, what? I don't think I have everything I need. What could I possibly need for that? The Barlow lens. Instructions. To oh, double the magnification okay. of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Small parlor. Get us this. Oh, it's open now. now. We're talking. Who opened that? Got a shock in. Okay, replay it. Okay, um. I'm not entirely sure how to do that, but we got we got some keys, didn't we? Sitting room key, cellar key. Okay. Where's the sitting room? Second floor. Okay. Yeah, now we've been teleported to the other world again. Can you stop breathing like that, fella? It's going to be okay. We will get through this. But when shut, it worked. Where are we? We're getting close to the living room or sitting room. Detective Conby. How good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, detective. Thanks. Did the ceiling just collapse? I heard it was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How 
that could have such consequences is beyond me. The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. It fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm happy you find the evening still harmonious. I uh, hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capabilities. Good luck, detective. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, even in this. Ruth so. seemed like a handful. Her talk about Jeremy and the dark man made it sound like she might know something of importance. But ultimately, it felt like a dead end. This is not where the living room is, but I, I can get to the living room from in here. Gunning on in here then. I can't even hear rap on that door, but I definitely heard something behind that door. Maybe in the future we'll be able to interact with it. Okay, let's head to the sitting room. That door's locked from the other side, right? Yeah. Through here. Then through that door. There's something missing. Must be that kid's. Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. <coughs> there will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. Huh. 
it's two beds but only one child. Not lost the kid in this room. He has now noticed the kid in this room. What you got there? You drawing something? Nothing special. I'm just bored. Do I know you from somewhere? I remember you, Mr. Conby. From where? Don't touch that. Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at all. Do you know where she is? I'd rather not talk about it. It makes me upset. Besides, she'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life. And some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCoffee might find me. Hey. Was he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You should know that by now. Well, I'm a detective. I mean, I gotta do my job. I gotta ask questions, you know. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. This is where Cassandra Beauregard ended up. For some reason, I thought she died years ago. There's more of that rot again. Like it's guiding me to do something. But what? If I find the full set of bottles, then maybe I can make something out of the stains of rot. It's another one of those strange padlocks. Just, didn't that know say the, the, the other bottles hidden in there, the little girl's room? The medicine bottles had stains of rot on the labels, suggesting some greater shape. They just needed to be put in the right order. But for what purpose? Okay, well, this, this is Lottie's room, right? I'm in the right place, aren't I? This is Grace. Where's Lottie's room? Have I, uh, do I even know a Lottie? Okay, Lottie's room's on the first floor.
you go through the plaza. I don't have the key but I've got a cellar key so I guess we'll go to the cellar because that sounds like a good thing to do how does one get to the cellar again Probably this way, right? I've had a guess, that is. Okay, it's not there then. Anything on here that says cellar? Cellar, 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 cellar. Nothing on there says cellar. Um, I'm not sure. I'm a little bit lost. Back in here. What was that puzzle again in here? Oh yeah, the, the magnifying glass thing. Okay, I guess we'll just try and find the cellar. Whatever that might be. Cellar's got to be down here somewhere. Yes. Uh. Okay, looks like I need a switch. I just gotta figure out how it worked. Yeah, but now it's pitch dark, mate. Oh, 
God, I got the thing for the thing. Yes, we're making progress. I would like to have my gun out though. Now we go to the boiler. the body that's a bit for the boiler puzzle <coughs> thingy <coughs> I'm so glad the lights are back on Conrad didn't know what to make of the grotesque vision of the dead clerk. Was he dead, or was it all fiction? Okay, I'm not sure where the other part would be now, so I'm a bit at a loss. Figure that out. Let's try and figure this out. That door's just not all that needs a key, okay. Some more of that whiskey. Go ahead, detective. 
I don't think I can stomach any more anyway. Yeah, uh, we did quite a bit there, uh, I think I'll split this up into two, the next part we'll get the next part of the piece, I just need to figure out where to go, so join me next time for that, but uh, goodbye for now.